What's up, fellas? Pace is gaming here. We're gonna be bringing you guys Kroger keys to the game center position, center edition. You know, okay. best center in the world. I'll give you that. You gotta have that. Okay, I'll take. It. There's a lot of things you gotta do as a center to be elite. One of the few positions that uh, has a lot of impact in the game on both sides of the court. That's why I love it. One of the f first things that comes to mind, center to be good at is pick and roll defense. You, you will rarely see people trying to make plays. This is not the NBA, this is not real basketball. It is tough to do all those things in 2K because of the core size, the players, all that. Right. So being able to guard that is, is really big. And that comes with a lot of things. A hedging, obviously. Got hedging. Big hedge masters. The fake show and recover. Fake show and recover. There's a lot of guys that do that, but yeah. it, it is a pretty good, uh, thing to have, you know, a lot of point guards struggle with that. You gotta know angles, like the point guard driving, yeah. you gotta know the angles for like, yeah. know what angles for blocks and chase downs. If you went the right angle, you're getting the block. If you don't go the right angle, yeah. you're getting dunked on. Also, with the angles too, with the bump, you know, be able to, to meet the point guard free throw line before he gets to the animation of the dunk and getting that bump is because you took the right angle. I feel like you're sitting low, kind of, but just sitting, sitting and just watching the play develop and recognizing the PG is about to shoot that three, and then boom, out of nowhere, you just jump, and being seven foot, seven one, you get the block. And then the extra, which my guy here loves to say, recognizing as a center, guarding a pick and roll, okay, my guy's out of position, my lock. Or maybe I'm out of position, what do I do? Do I chase down for the block, or do I recognize my power forward dropped and already is there to save me, and I gotta rotate to somebody else and find who's the open man to I gotta go to. And that's the elite of the elite. Recognizing stuff like that and being out of the play and being like, okay, this is where I gotta go. Or just switching on defense and guarding a PG with a 7-1 with 50 lateral quickness and being able to stop it. Passing, that's my favorite one. Passing. Passing. Like, how is it that your favorite one when you don't know how to pass? Stop it. Okay, no. when you're average at passing. No, you are average. I'll take that. Okay. I'm real myself. I'm saying like playing a different position, and playing with a center that knows how to pass, it feels good because now you know that if he gets the ball, he's not just gonna go up blindly, you know, and not hit the corner or for offensive rebound. I think it's, it's huge for a center to know how to pass because knowing how 2K is, nine times out of 10, it's just the power forward that's dropping on the center. Mm -hmm. So if I'm playing with a center like you that knows how to pass, it's like, okay, I know I may get a shot right here. You know, I know that Joe Mar may make the right read. Okay. Instead of playing with a, a, oh, a reset block. Okay. All right, we'll make the right. I'll one out of 10. I'll give you a flower. He'll make the right read. Nine out of 10 times. I like that. I'll give you that. So many centers, they get the ball, they just run back out the three point line. Fake pass, <laughs> reset. 20 times, fake pass, fake pass. Instead of making that the easy read to the corner, you know, off an offensive rebound, making a read back to the wing. It just puts more pressure on the defense. So that's why I think passing is probably the biggest skill that gets you over the edge of other centers. Rebounding is, is always gonna be a thing. Uh, Cause I feel like same as basketball in general, when people talk about it, you know, analysts say, if you win the rebound game, you have a high chance to win the game. That's right. like a real thing. That's why we're the best team in the league, offensive rebounding and second chance points. There it's because go. we understand how big that is. And, and, and again, it's not only just pressing triangle and like dominating the boards. It's the little things, recognizing the bounce of the ball, recognizing the shot is being shot from the right side of the court, uh, right wing or whatever. It's a three, so it's a high chance it's a long board. It's a midi, it's a high chance it's a closer board. You know, stuff like that. It's from the right corner, it may bounce to the left corner or back to the right corner. It's not gonna bounce middle. Mm -hmm. You boxing out so that I can get the rebound. Nah, listen. That's, nah. that's an underrated one, bro. That's. But you gotta give my props. I, I just I'm, gave you that. I'm 20 out of 10 on that one. I just gave you that. Because this guy. That's an underrated one. He just mentioned a couple minutes before is when the center gets the board and hits the corner. I can never hit the <laughs> corner because every uh, time I get the board or I box out for him to get the board, we're literally next to each other holding hands, bro. You know, you got the boxing out aspect of it. Understanding you don't just want to go down there and press triangle. You got to box out your guy. That's your job. If you, there's two people, you can box out one and then sprint to the other one and try to box him out. You can sit in between them because there's two, so there's no point in boxing them out. You sit in between and you hope the ball gets to you because you can get both angles uh, where the ball's gonna bounce. The timing of triangle, you know? A lot of people just, when the ball is being shot, you wait for the ball to get close to hit the rim and then you press triangle, that's Terrible it. Triangle. But like sometimes you do that and it's a long board and now you can't get the board. But if you recognize, okay, let me wait out the animation, let me wait out the ball, and press triangle at the right time, that's when you're gonna get the best rebound animations and you're gonna be a horse. You gotta have a bag. You, you know, gotta have like, a bag? You gotta have a bag. Okay. Like they, they like to say, you know, Giannis just runs and dunk. That's <laughs> all I saw a lot of 2K centers are. Centers that are super aggressive, they put so much pressure on the defense and they relieve a lot of pressure off the point guard. It makes a huge difference. You know, centers that know how to get the ball, 
make a jab step, go to the go to the bucket, you know, or make a spin move, euro step, fake pass, dunk the ball, you know, like those. Matching. I, yeah, matching, you know, knowing you can pump fake 82 times in a paint <laughs> before they call three seconds. That's a skill guy. But stuff like that, you know, it matters, you know, being able to do those things and like I said, just having a bag and having an offensive yeah. skill set. I do want to say like when you go to X center and he, you know, he's not aggressive and he doesn't have the offensive repertoire. So you're thinking in your head, okay, I got to focus on the pick and roll. And then if he gets the ball, then I'll just hands up, play All the right. paint. No, there's not much going on. I don't have to be worried about cuts. I don't have to be worried about wraps. I don't have to be worried about jazz steps, spin moves, euro steps, any of that. But there's other centers that when you go to the game plan, <laughs> it makes it hard because you gotta respect that aspect of their game. So now instead of thinking about focus on pick and roll defense and then it's a reset, now you gotta think about, oh, hold up. I gotta be worried about wraps. I gotta be worried about euro yeah. steps. I gotta be worried about this guy jazz stepping me a million times and trying to get me stunned <laughs> or doing spin moves or fake passing in the paint and waiting me out or pump faking a million times after the old boards. The whole point of the video is, you know, how can you turn from casual to comp? So just focus on those four things. Understand that rebounding, offensive repertoire, pick and roll defense, and then passing are the four things that if you do have in your game and you can say those and those four things you are good or above average, you're gonna be a top center in, in the world. Like, Easily. It's, it's just how it goes. Uh, a lot of centers in the league, the really, really best ones are the ones that find out what will be great or elite at all four. You, you make an emphasis on making that uh, part of your uh, game when you're playing center and you'll turn into a comp center 100%.